All right, cool, here we go. We're gonna learn the verse. We just came out of the, uh, the solo, which does, right? So basically that's the first note of the verse, bass-wise. So we just did that. Where we're gonna go from there is right here. Okay, that's the fourth string from seven to five. So. And that last note there hit the open uh, fifth string. So. Okay, so it's. And then hit this note two more times. Or three, so. Yeah, it's three times. So. Okay, and then you're just gonna hold right here. I'm not really barring it, but I'm just barring the top three strings is all that matters. So you don't gotta put all your energy into the entire finger, just the top three strings here. So, um, barring those on 10th fret, and I'm gonna hit fourth and sixth string at the same time. At the same time, so, so that's, and so. And then you're just going to put down the, that ring finger on the 12th fret, 5th string, so, like that. So we got, and then we're going to go right here, open 5th string and 5th uh, uh, fret, 4th string hit it together. So. Together. And then we're going to hit that 7th fret, 5th uh, string. So. Right there. Okay, so we went twice. Okay, so let's do that. here to 10 again top string has to be the pointer finger because we're going to do some other stuff here okay and it's basically the the intro loop that i showed you before see how it goes to right there does it twice that string by itself. Next part of the verse is same thing that you just did. Okay, same thing again. So from there you hit it together once by itself and then you're gonna hit you're gonna hit this note here on the 12th fret, fifth string. And we're hitting it there because we're going into something else. So let's try that, that second part. I use my ring finger so I can go to the next bass note. So watch. And it goes into that loop, see, so easy. If you can hold that note, let it ring into the beginning of the next part, it's extra cool, so. Okay. Next is the same thing, but we're adding a, this high string right here. Open second string. We're just doing it twice, so. On top of what we're doing up here. Just that one. 
And if you ever get lost, you can just kind of sing along in your head if you kind of know the melody, because it's doing the melody, you know? You know, so, um, anyway. And then the final part to that is, okay, we're going to kind of do the same thing we just did, but we're going to use, okay, the usual bass note and the open. And um, what we're going to use this time is the fourth, uh, is the fourth string open. We're gonna hit it like that. So, so, two at the same time, two at the same time, and then just this one by itself. So. Okay. Next, we're gonna hit the open bass and um, fifth fret. Fourth string. Hit those two together. And then and then the fourth string open. So like that. Both together. That one open by itself. So and then you're just gonna go. Seven to five, fifth string. So. Okay, next you're gonna uh, hit it like a little weird kind of little chord thing, which is fifth string, seventh fret, and tenth fret, top string. Hit them together. It does like a little dissonant thing. And then you're just gonna hit the fifth string on. Eight to five. Like that. So. And then you're just gonna hit the open bass note on the fifth string. And then you're gonna hammer, you're gonna put the middle finger just right there and do that chord from earlier, which is 12, 13, 12. Like that. So. And then hit the, the body, so let's do it again. 